Hey everybody and welcome back to Empty Pockets Ironworks. Thank you for joining me this week. Sorry for the little bit later than usual upload. We had a show this weekend and was out of town, so yeah, you're getting it late. Uh, anyway, I have some exciting news and it involves this table. Uh, I know, not the most attractive thing ever, it weighs a ton, but I gotta work with what I got. Um, I actually was able to trade for this with my dad, so Thank you, Dad. I really appreciate it because this is going to help me out a bunch. Um, the reason for today's upload is we made a pretty substantial purchase for Empty Pockets Ironworks. And that purchase was... That's right, folks. We got ourselves a forging press. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ooh, ah, fanfare, and it's over. Uh, actually, this is really huge for us. This is going to open up so many new doors for us as far as fabrication and forging. And uh, it's just going to make my life a lot easier with some of the heavier hitting stuff that I do. And less wear and tear on me. And like I said, it'll open up doors for me to expand the items that we make here for Empty Pockets Ironworks and, and get into things that are not necessarily in our comfort zone. Now, as you can see, comes really well packaged. I was actually kind of surprised that it wasn't on a pallet. Uh, main reason being because this box is freaking heavy. Heavy. I'm assuming this is the RAM. I haven't opened it yet. This box is hernia inducing. But as it states on there, team lift. The wife and I was able to lift it into the back of my pickup, which actually sets up pretty high. Pull it around to the back side of the shop and unload it, and nobody got hurt. So follow the instructions. Don't try to manhandle it by yourself because you will get hurt. And uh, it is heavy. I mean, I'm a decently well-built guy, and it, uh, it was more than I could handle, more than I wanted to handle unless I wanted to end up in the hospital. So anyway. Packaged very well. Kind of surprised it didn't come on a pallet, but that's okay. It uh, arrived way sooner than what we thought it was going to. Uh, when we ordered from their site, um, was a little bummed because it says right on their site that they have a two to three week lead time. And uh, we actually got this thing just shortly over a week. And so very, very satisfied with our ordering experience. So. I'm going to work on up opening this thing up. Uh, we'll check out some of the contents, hopefully, and uh, then uh, get it hooked up, dump some fluid into it. Uh, I do need to run some new electrical in the shop. This They suggest that you run a 20 amp plug, which is understandable. This is a 110, 12 ton version. Um, if all goes well, then maybe you guys will get to see its first smash today. And uh, yeah, this is a big step for us. It's exciting. It's a little bit overwhelming. Like I've said before, we're Empty Pockets Ironworks. Everything we do has to be strategically planned out. We're a family of seven. We own our own home. And, you know, people think, oh, well, you must be pretty well off. The business pays for itself. It pays for the electric. It pays for material in the store that we're in and there's a little bit of extra here and there and you know to be honest with you it's a hobby that's turned into a business this is going to allow us to venture into different things that i was not capable of doing before i'm almost 40 i've got arthritis really bad i've had my hands broken you know hammering all day long is extremely hard on me and then i end up paying for it for days afterwards so not to wuss out but I think this is really going to help us out. And, if anything, it'll be fun to play with. Now, if you're not familiar with Coal Iron Works, they have a pretty good array of different forging presses for my small shop and for my needs to start out with. We went with the 12 ton which I believe is the smallest one that they make. They call it their mini press, but don't let the tonnage fool you. I've watched people very quickly forge hammers, pattern welded Damascus, axes, 
drifts, all sorts of things utilizing this press. The other cool thing about it is they have quite a few different colors that you can choose from. So me, if you know me well enough, you know that my favorite color is red. So this press is red. I actually had to re-record this portion of it. The dog started barking. This is really cool. Um, the packaging is phenomenal. Super impressed with the way it's packaged. The machine itself looks amazing. Very, very heavy duty. They took the time to not only grind down all the welds, but they're buffed and smooth. It's just overall very attractive. Now the neat thing about it is this particular press works off of a two bolt system. So by using two different bolts, two on the top, two on the bottom, you can very quickly change the dies. Now this comes out of the factory with two sets of dies. There's a set of round dies for drawing out tapers or just drawing out material. And I'm assuming yeah, in this one is a set of flat dies. And these are machined, very, very well made very very nice super impressed with it like I said the packaging on this is just phenomenal so I don't see a mounting plate in here to mount it upright I'm assuming that's in the other box I don't have any instructions, but I'm assuming this is probably the stand for the press itself. And again, build quality, super, super nice. And let's have our first look. Oh, nope. <laughs> and, ha! Hey, cool. Yeah, there we go. Couple iron, couple stickers in there. That's awesome. A little squish monster. Now one thing I did notice is that in the instruction manual here for this press, 
it says that you must fill the machine with five gallons of good quality ISO 46 hydraulic oil. Well, I bought four gallons. I went and got an extra get or extra two gallons because of what it said in here. And then I noticed on the safety stop here it says warning: fill with oil before use. Four gallons to fill system ISO 46 hydraulic fluid. So four or five? Not necessarily a problem. I'm just going to fill it until the reservoir tank is full, and hope that it doesn't overflow. But I'm assuming it's four. This tank looks like it probably holds four. Maybe it's five. I don't know. It's a mystery. We'll find out. Okay, a little behind the scenes here. As you can see, I ran the machine down. I didn't want to record it on camera just in case something wasn't quite right on my end. Um, but after running it down, these brass wear guides, I used some, uh, I guess you'd call it uh, high resistance lubricational oil. And uh, basically, every time you run the machine, it states in there and probably often while you're running the machine that you want to keep these lubricated and of course these are replaceable everything on this thing is pretty much replaceable and so anyway let's uh, heat up a piece of steel and let's smash something and see what she does Alright, so there you have it folks. I'm honestly as happy as a June bug at a frat party. It is awesome. Uh, like I said, not sponsored. I've been following this company now for a couple of years and I have just loved everything that they've come out with. Um, I wanted the 16 ton. The roll around, they have a 110 roll around unit uh, that's upright. But in all honesty, in my shop, I wasn't sure for one if we could lean it over really safely and get it through the doors because I've only got at best eight foot doors. Um, I wasn't sure on the height, you know, and then I seen on shipping that it had to come via freight and I needed to be able to drop it off. It, just a whole slew of different things. And then we got to looking at these. And as you've seen, I used three quarter inch square stock and it smashed it like it was nothing. And that was after only a couple minutes in my forge. So, you know, for me, it's going to speed things up. And like I said earlier, I've had my hand was smashed at one point in time. It's been broke. I've had numerous broken bones, numerous things, ailments and arthritis and that sort of thing. That as much as I love blacksmithing, as much as I love fabrication and metalwork, sometimes it really takes a toll on me. So for those jobs that take a lot of drawing out, tapers and that sort of thing, this is going to be very beneficial 
and will hopefully keep me in the game longer. Uh, with that being said, this was just a test. Now, it's crude, I know, but this is the first time I've ever used a forging press. This little rail spike knife here, very rough. But I was able to do that in less than 10 minutes. And that's between heats and then just kind of drawing it out on the anvil. Didn't break a sweat compared to what you would have normally done, considering the fact that this started out, it was only about this long. This was an antique, you can see the erosion, very old. And uh, this was another rail spike, turned it into a meat turner. It was actually just kind of a test piece, and that's the reason it's not refined. And, and But, you know, to draw something out like that would have taken a good bit of effort on the anvil. And again, I didn't break a sweat, so really awesome. This is going to be a great benefit to the shop. Now, and I hope I'm in focus, uh, <laughs> we're Empty Pockets Ironworks. And like I've said in other videos, Everything has to be strategically planned out. This set us back, delivered to the house, a little over $3,000. But the setup was phenomenal, easy. The machine itself looks great. With a table that has wheels on it, you can maneuver it around the shop. It plugs in via 110. 10 out of 10 would buy again. And so if you're in the market for a press, don't have a whole lot of room, think that things are too far out of your reach, give Coal Ironworks a look. Very, very satisfied with our purchase. Thank you, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.